Hello everyone, TR here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in for another soap making adventure. For today's video, I am pulling out the donut molds for a strawberry inspired soap donut. The idea for this design came about like many of the other soaps that I did this month that were just odds and ends and bits and bobs of leftover fragrances I had and last minute ideas I threw together. <laughs> if you are interested in purchasing this soap, you are in luck. It is available in today's shop update alongside other soaps like the Evergreen Wreaths, the Cold Winter Moon, Figgy Pudding, and Blackberry Pie. I want to say there's another one in there as well, but I can't remember what it is. I will leave that shop update link down below to my Etsy store if you are interested. I cannot believe it is the final shop update of 2020. Like this year, has, it's come to an end. It is so close to being over. Who would have thought? It has been a very strange year. I'm not complaining too much between buying a house and having a baby. It has kept us very, very busy. So busy that I will not be doing a January shop update or any videos that I can think of. I might throw one randomly in there. But the plan is to take a small break and to come back in February because I have a lot of catching up to do. I want to thank you all for supporting me and following along with me. I hope you all have a happy holiday and a healthy new year and I will catch you in 2021. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to give me a thumbs up and if you are new and you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button and let's get to soap making. donuts off you have to make the tops of them first if you want a full donut with the top of the bottle it's backwards I know but it works so I will make the tops today and then I will come back tomorrow pour up the bottoms just like I'm going to do with the top same way and then connect the tops to the bottoms while they're still wet adding some this is called magic moments and it's like a pinky brown it's very pink but has like these little tints of brown in it and when i was looking for it i was actually looking in my brown drawer of my cousin <laughs> so i'm gonna mix that in and then add the my solution it's the reason for the soap i had a strawberry cheesecake, a strawberry shake, and a strawberry fragrance. Either small bottles or not all the way filled bottles on my shelf. And I just mixed them all together. I do expect it to discolor this a little bit, but again, I like doing that with my donut soaps because, well, donuts are brown. <laughs> most of the time unless it's like a chocolate donut I suppose but yeah still brown donut <laughs> and if it discolors this a little bit you'll still get that nice pink tinge in there I believe so I'm gonna hand mix that in and bring over my donut molds you know what? I would forget this and I almost did I'm going to add some red jojoba beads to this mix them in then I will get the straw or the donut molds over here.
So to decorate the top of these delectable looking strawberry soap donuts, I have some white soap batter that I've just let thicken up just a tiny bit like that to dip in there. And then I have these pink bursting beads that will make a mess, <laughs> but they look like sprinkles. And then once I'm done dipping all these donuts, whatever frosting I have left over, I'll let it thicken up even more. And I'll pipe just a little dollop on top of each one of these and add a little strawberry in bed to top it off. And that is my strawberry, I don't know what to call these, strawberry jam donuts maybe. I don't know, they're really delicious looking though. It's funny because right now I'm seeing a lot of talk online about Dunkin' Donuts coming out with like a ghost pepper flavored donut, which is just ridiculous. I can't imagine it would be enjoyable at all if it's fake news, if it's actually um, a real thing that they're doing, if it's gonna be available everywhere. Who would want to eat that? Not me. But um, it's funny, they actually kind of look like these donuts, like they're donuts with white frosting and little red speckles, sprinkles, sugar sprinkles on them. <laughs> and I thought it was funny that they're talking about that right now as I am making these donuts. Um, I prefer a strawberry donut over a ghost pepper donut any day. It's just one of those fads, I suppose, people get bored or get excited, honestly, over silly things. I am one of them. I get excited over food very easily. <laughs> um, I see a lot of links that people put on Facebook that it's like, you must try this. Like, I um, actually found one of them. It was a, it's like an ice cream that Wegmans was selling called Friendsgiving. And I actually went to Wegmans and got it. <laughs> I can't wait to eat it. It has um, almond ice cream with blue or blackberry jam swirls in it and cookie dough pieces. Oh, hello. So I fell for that. Um, I am seeing a lot of different food things that I'm not going to be able to find. I don't know where people find these things. It's either that they don't exist, like the stores don't exist in Maryland, or they're too far away, or they sell out, or I don't have a membership, like Costco <laughs> or PJs. I see um, these things called hot chocolate bombs right now that look really good, and I would love to try them if I could find them. I don't know, if I ever found them in real life, I would probably buy them. If you aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, they are hollow balls of chocolate that are filled with hot chocolate mix and marshmallows. You can probably stick other things in there. That would be fun, like maybe some peppermint pieces or some caramels. And then you stick them in your mug pour hot milk over them and they put on like a little show as they melt and release everything and then they make a delicious cup of hot chocolate. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure it's easier to just make regular hot chocolate, but if you want something fancy, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, and I'm all about making them, but then again, I start thinking about it and I'm like, chocolate is so temperamental. It is a mess to work with and that's really Tierra and that is coming from somebody who works with cold process soap um, and then I'm, I'm thinking oh they would make really pretty gifts like if you wanted to throw one with a mug and some like Hershey kisses or some stop sticking your fingers in the soap <laughs> or maybe some Christmas cookies and give them out as little treats around the holidays I'm all about those things I love handmade gifts obviously but then I start thinking about the fact that this is going to be my first Christmas with a newborn and I don't know how much of anything I am going to be making. We'll see. Follow me on Instagram. Maybe, maybe I'll post something if I decide to try them. Let me know if you've ever had one, seen one, make, made one before. 
or if you just think I'm crazy. <laughs> but I swear, I'm, I've seen these things online. Alright, I'm just using some of that icing. I don't even know why I piped it so pretty because it's just going to be like a little glue to hold on these little strawberry guys. I'll let these sit. They're probably going to sit for like 12 hours, but I'll come back in 24 and give you guys an up close look. So, there you have it. They look a little more like frosted donuts now instead of glazed ones. And I had a really sad thought while making these. <laughs> this is the last soap that I have made in my old soap room and the last soap I made while pregnant. So, kind of bittersweet. If you would like to get one of these, they are available today alongside like the winter moon soap and the blackberry pie and the figgy pudding soaps. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. New to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring my bell. If you wanna be notified of future videos, any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day, and I will smell you later.